Hello, so in this week's videos we'll be looking at uh, using our online catalogue and in today's video we'll be looking at how to search for references to named individuals. Uh, here's the main page to our online catalogue and if you ever need um, further instructions on using it you can click here and this comes up with a PDF which goes through every field in great detail. So if we enter our catalogue and click search. So the advanced search is the default search and one way to search for named individuals would be to use the person institution field and at Bedfordshire Archives when we catalog new material if we come across a named individual then we index it and that effectively works as a tagging system. And at the archives, we try to index names in a standard format, which is surname, comma, forename or initial. So as an example, we'll use uh, John Edwards, which we would input as Edwards, comma, John. Now, if you weren't sure of the uh, forename or initial, you could just import the family name and press search and that would bring up um, references to material indexed as relevant to an Edwards, uh, regardless of gender. You could also partially input the surname and click the binoculars here. And this uh, retrieves a list of index terms that have been used by the archive. And then you can just click on the name and it automatically is filled in that box. But we'll stick for John Edwards for now. And it's at this point that you might need to be aware that spelling wasn't standardized until the 19th century. And this is especially true for uh, surnames. So you may need to do a variety of searches uh, in order to just cover as wide a space as possible. So if we go down, and I would always recommend that you have records per page set to 50, just to save you having to continuously click through results. Okay, and you can see that this search has retrieved 357 results. Now it's at this point that you need to be aware that Bevisher Archives, we use one index term to cover multiple individuals who may have been living in different parishes and different time periods. So for example, we've got uh, documents from the 19th century as indexed as relevant to a John Edwards from the 16th century. And we can do a more targeted search to refine down that list. And one way that we can do it is by using our expert search function. Go back to our search page. And we'll clear this one. And our expert search function can be found here. And the expert search function is really great because it allows us to do combined searches. And so let's say we were looking for John Edwards, who was living in Biggleswade between 1830 and 1860. So we need to change the field here to person institution. And we'll input Edwards, John. And at this point, you could also um, search for multiple spelling variations which you could do by changing the boolean operator here to or and then again adding another person institution and then for example you could put input edwards comma john but spelled with an es uh, but we'll just stick for john edwards for now as is by clicking here and changing the field to year from between 1830 to 18, 
60. And again, if you were just looking for one particular year, you can change the operations here as you see fit. And if we search, Okay, and you can see this has brought up 12 results. And again, it may be that there's multiple John Edwards in this search, but it does narrow it down to a more manageable size. And we can uh, click through the links here to get some more detailed um, catalog description. And we can also, if you wanted to save the results for later, you could click this reference box here. And I'll just go through some. Select this one. And this one. OK, and we can see now the selection page has a number three next to it, and that's because we've selected three results. So if we go to the selection page, and we can see that here that it's been saved and then we can say, send these reference via email or we can print them off, which can be really useful and saves you having to manually create your own list. I wouldn't recommend downloading or writing profile at the moment. And finally, not every document in our collection will have um, named individuals indexed in them. And sometimes this is um, due to data protection. So this is particularly true of school collections. And sometimes it's just the sheer amount of names that can be found in one document that makes it too labor intensive for us to carry out in-house. So for example, I'm thinking of our poor law union records, uh, which may have registers, uh, lists of those that are receiving relief all of which are name rich data, but in quantities that are too large for us to carry out uh, in house. So the person institution keyword search, it's not the final say on the matter. And just because there may not be an index term for that name, it doesn't mean necessarily that we don't have a record for it. It just might take uh, a bit more digging. And that's when it's always a good idea just to get in contact with the archive and get some further guidance. So that's how I would search for a named individual. And the next uh, video will be looking at subject terms. Okay, so if you've got any comments, do leave them in the comment section below. Okay, thank you.